and he said to them, it is written, my house should be called a house of prayer, but you have made it into the den of thieves. You know, the word of God, it, it, it could be hard, and then we need to accept it because the word, uh, the word of God correct us. Amen? Um, yeah, we need to love one another, but we need to uh, receive the word of God and correct those that uh, are go- doing wrong. They, and pray for them, that God, you know, minister to them and bring them back to the right way. Amen. We as a brothers and sisters that we are, as a family in Christian Praise Center, we need to pray for one another and, and fellowship with one another. And when we see somebody uh, going through hardship, do whatever we can as, a, as a Christians that we are. And that way our faith is not empty. It's not in vain. Amen. And also in Corinthians 6.19, the Bible says, Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, who you have from God, and you are not your own? When Jesus was, you know, doing this in the temple, he knew the hearts of the people. You know, they were doing for... uh, for business, they were, you know, uh, not doing it to worship God, to help, you know, uh, the people of God, you know, to help them with their, this sacrifice, you know, to sell animals, and, and, and they were, you know, doing, selling all this very high, high price. They were cheating, amen? So Jesus came into the scene, and they told him like, like, like it was, you know, like the truth, because Jesus is the truth, the way and the life, amen? He came, like uh, he comes into our lives. And we, when we ask God to come into our lives, he comes in, into our temple. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, amen? We are his temple, amen? Like he did back then, he wants to come into our lives. He wants to come into our homes. He wants to come into our families. He wants to come in, in, in this church. He wants to come into the community. He wants to, he wants to come into your workplaces, amen? But what is it that we do? We just want our benefit. We just want I, me. What can I get out of that, amen? But that God doesn't want that. He wants to come in, into your life and clean you out. And we need to receive him into ourself, into our spirit, into our heart, into our mind, into a- everything that we are. We need to receive him. We need to remove ourselves completely. Not to leave nothing that belongs to Ramiro. Nothing that belongs to me. You know, nothing that belongs to you. You need to remove yourself. The Bible says that you cannot put new wine into all skin. You need to put new wine into a new skin. You need to put the world of God is the wine. You need to remove yourself every custom that you inherit from your parents if, if it wasn't godly. Everything, every, uh, you know, I, I want to uh, go along with the pastor's message to, uh, this morning. Amen. We need to change the way we think. Amen. If we keep thinking the same way, this, is, this message is for the youth. If you are young, it's for you too. Amen? And I believe, you know, I'm young. You know, I tell my wife, you know, I don't know. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm almost reaching 50 years old, and I'm still young. I mean, you still have this energy that I cannot contain because it's the Holy Spirit. Amen? It makes me want to do this, do that. And the same Spirit is in you. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. Tell your neighbor, I have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Christian praise center have the mind of Christ. Amen. We need to walk in one accord. We need to walk in in the same in the same world. Amen. We cannot go against each other because we cannot walk together. If we walk, uh, if if we walk uh, together, we need to have the same. We it's a team effort. What Jesus did on the cross, I believe what he did on the cross for me. 
it for you, for my family. He shed his blood. Amen. It's the same message. Amen. Uh, it's the same in Jesus. Amen. The Son of God, he pierced the heavens for you, for me, for our kids. Amen. So what is it that we're doing? Amen. We are his temple. I am his temple. The Holy Spirit resides in me, lives in me. We are not free from God. We are free, we are free, but not from God. We are free for Him, to Him. We owe Him everything that we are. Amen. We need to live for Him. He died for us. Everything that, the, what is it that we listen when we're not here? Youth. What is it that we listen? We li listen to all music, all school music, all this vacuities music. Amen. We need to listen to Christian music, Christ music, gospel music. What is it that we see on TV? Amen. What kind of programs are, are we watching? Amen. What kind of programs are we let our kids watch on TV? We need to, wa we need to watch what they, they see on TV. As a grandparents, as a, a fathers that we are, amen? The truth hurts, but we need to receive because God wants to cleanse us. He wants to correct us. He wants to discipline us. Sometimes, you know, the, um, the mind... It's, a, it's a, uh, something that God has given us. It's like a sponge. If we let a little kid, a young people, see anything they want in TV, that's what is going on out there in the world, you know, killing uh, people, you know, young people killing each other, killing, killing, or, you know, uh, end up, they end up in jail. We're taking, we're taking the, you know, the, the word God out of the, our schools so that we can give them the word God in jail the word of God, we need to give them a home yes. when they are growing up. Yes. Amen? Uh, many people say that we, we have the right to do whatever we want with our own bodies. Amen? With our own minds. Uh, but we, we uh, you know, although they think that it's freedom, they're, they're really, you know, see, we think that we are free to do whatever we want, but we are slaves to our own desires. Amen? When we, come, uh, when we become Christians, the Holy Spirit comes to live in us. Therefore, no longer we are our own. You know, Jesus paid a high price for you and me. Amen? Uh, maybe, we, you know, for example, you know, my testimony is that, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't know about God because my parents didn't taught me God. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't taught me the word of God. Amen. I came to I came to the Lord when uh, I was young at, at a young age. But I didn't, it's no excuse for me. Amen. It's no excuse. You know, I thank God that God brought me, and I'm preaching to you. And I thank you guys for you listening to me. Amen. But you know, I grew up with different ideas in my mind. I didn't know. I didn't know better. So the same thing is happening right now with our young generations because we let them grow. We let the, the TV be their babysitter, our babysitter for them. Amen? So we need to be careful what we do with them because they need guidance. We need guidance. Amen? To guide, to guide our young generation. Amen? In Mark 7, 22, it says, uh, and he did what I come, what I come, you know, Jesus speaking, what, come, what comes out of a man that defiles a man? For from, from within, out of the heart of a, man, of a man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, theft, covetousness, uh, wickedness, disease, leftness, and evil eyes, Blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from with, within a man, if they file a man. See, everything, God cleanses us, we don't think about those things anymore, right? 
If we are, we need to ask God to, to forgive us and, and to renew our minds. Like Pastor was preaching this morning. To, you know, to be transformed. God transform us so we can, we can teach others about God. We can teach our young generations about God. Amen? I know it's, it, it's going to be a lot of people listening to me out there through the internet and through the, to all the young people that are listening. We need to be careful what we, we put in our bodies, what we listen, you know, through our ear gates, what we see on TV, what we see others, you know, do. Amen? Uh, tattooing our bodies is not right. We, you know, we as a Christian, we have come to the... Uh, to the um, to make that okay, it's not okay. I have said it so many times. You know, I have tattoos in my body because I didn't know better be before I came to the Lord. You know, piercing ourselves. God pierced, you know, by, by his, his stripes, he paid a price. By his stripes, you know, he, he took all the, all the punishment so we don't have to. You know, piercing our body, tattooing our body, putting all these um, uh, um, drugs in our body. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, young people. Amen? So we need to fill ourselves with the Word of God. So we don't, we don't get deceived out there. So nobody comes with the, um, philosophies, you know, men's philosophies, other religions. Uh, it's a relationship between the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in us. Amen? We need to have the relationship with God. And James 1.14 says, But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth, birth to sin. And sin, when it's full grown, brings forth death. Amen? Sometimes, young people, when we're thinking about something that we're going to do, we plan something. The word of the word God says with it, if we, we fall into temptation because we have ta thought about it before. We have planned it before. What we need to do when it's not godly, that it's not, it's not, it doesn't go according to the word of God, we need to kneel. When temptation comes into our mind, we need to kneel. Well, the first thing we need to do is kneel before the Lord. Lord, forgive me because I can't with these desires that are in my flesh, they are in my mind. I can't without you. We cannot do anything. We need to believe God that, that without Him, because every time we, do, we try to do something with, with our own strength, we're going to fail. We're going to fail. We need Him. What He did on the cross, He is risen. Sitting at the, the, at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Interceding for you and me right now. He's interceding for you and me. What you're going through. Whatever you're going through, it's nothing for the Lord. Nothing is impossible for the Lord. We need to believe that. You know, I see the forecast all this week. You know, I, I asked the mother for Walgreens to, to, you know, let me do that car wash. And I see the forecast. That, that, that week was sunny and then the next day was rain the following day that was rain rain all all week long it was it was saying rain the forecast and i got tired looking at my phone you know lord he's gonna believe you because i know you like you love your youth it's your youth it's your shirts and you know that we raising funds for that for our camp so we can send these young people to camp. And what happens, Saturday? Nice weather. Perfect weather. Man, we praise God for that. If we wait for the right weather to happen, it's never going to happen. We need to believe God. We need to have faith in God. We need to uh, um, stop doubting. You know, whatever the enemy wants to put in your mind, the doubt. We need to say, you know, I don't walk by doubt. I don't want what, how I feel. I don't want what my, my family, you know, all these problems, all these circumstances. I don't walk by that. I walk with the Lord. You know, the Lord is my strength. He gives strength to the weak. 
Amen. He is, he is power to the powerless. Amen. And we need to have faith and believe that. Amen. You know, the more I walk with the Lord, the more I believe Him. Amen. Because I see the hand of God. You know, sometimes, you know, like anybody else, you know, I feel like quitting. I feel like quitting sometimes, like you. I know you feel like quitting sometimes. But, you know, it's your flesh. We need to get the strength from the Lord. I mean, the Lord will give you the strength that you need to do all those, uh, I don't know how many car wa cars we washed that day. Amen? We're still standing. Amen? And another is that, you know, whatever problem it is, you know, sickness, disease, nothing is impossible for the Lord. The Lord can heal you. We need to believe that the Lord can heal you. Amen? You know, I just speak blessings over your life. I just speak blessings, you know, the, wi the windows of heaven open for you and your families, your grandkids, you know, your nephews, your friends, and your job places, you know, that, that the sickness of the seas that is attacking your body, I declare it in the name of Jesus, you know, be gone to where it came from, from hell. A man is gone to hell, man, because, because God doesn't want us to be sick. He wants us to be for His glory, to work in His kingdom, to, you know, to reach out to other people, amen, to spread the gospel. He wants us to prosper, prosper like our soul, prosper, amen. He wants us to prosper, amen. But it's not, this message is not sugar-coated, amen. You know, we need to spread the gospel. We need to, you know, uh, preach Jesus Christ crucified in this reason. He's alive and well, and you are well. You are well, too, in Jesus' name. Our, our young generation is well for Christ. You know, I get too excited for the Lord. My, you know, my, my English is limited, but it doesn't stop me for spe to, to speech in, uh, preaching the gospel, amen. amen. You know, God put me here for a reason. God put you here for a reason. You know, let's, you know, think Christ in purpose. Whatever we feed our minds, Christ, positive. There's nothing negative for the Lord, amen? If it's negative, you know, I, you know, I, I work in RVs for a train. My train is working in RVs. When you put a battery in a, in a trailer, you need to have ground. You need to have negative to, so that positive can flow, amen? Sometimes we need to have negatives in our lives. So our positive can flow and reach out, amen, to the rest of the body, amen. So that's what God wants us, you know, not to give up. If you're thinking about giving up, you're thinking about throwing the towel, we don't, we're not that, with that kind of people that we look back. You know, God doesn't put a, a spirit of fear in your life so you can go back, so you can, you can, you can quit, amen. We are in this together. We can do this together, church. Amen? You know, temptation comes from evil desires inside of us, not from God. You know, God's not going to tempt you. Begin, you know, it begins with an evil thought and becomes, it becomes sin when we dwell on the thoughts and allow, allow it to become an action. It's like a, a, like a snowball rolling down the hill. Sometimes, you know, we let it grow. You know, sometimes it could be too late to stop it. You know, it could hurt us. It could hurt, you know, everybody around us. It could hurt, you know, people around us, friends, family. Amen. You know, sometimes when you fail, don't you feel like, Lord, I fail you? Don't you feel like a condemnation in your, in your life? But, you know, that's what the enemy wants. That's what Jesus said. You know, he, he said to the devil, you don't have nothing on me because he was clean of sin. When you, when you are clean of sin, when you, you are at your best, you feel like you can do anything, right? Yeah. Amen? When, you know, when this word, read it and read it. It's, it's, just, it's not just the word of God. It's a living word. You, live, you read it, and you read it, and you read it, and you, your mind changes. Your thought changes because you're feeding the Holy Spirit in your life. 
And it, the, the Holy Spirit is here to, to heal you. It's here to, to bless you in whatever you know, situation you're going through. You're going to see God in this. God doesn't spare us for, from our problems. He said, you know, my, my peace I give to you. Not, not, not like the world gives with, with, with things, you know. Sometimes when we have money in the bank, we, we have all these things, we feel good, right? But we don't go by feelings. We go by the zero, what is behind the zero in the bank account. Amen? We don't go by the zero. We go by what is behind the zero. We go by what God is working in, this, in the back end stage. We go by what God is doing back on the back. Amen? We see the zero, but we see our needs met. We see the hand of God there. See, money is nothing for the, for the, for the, the body of Christ. Amen? Because we give, we bless others. Amen? And it's not, it's not, it's not a big, I know the, the, we move, this move is moved by money, 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 things, things, things. But when, when you give yourself to others, when you bless others with your, with your finances, it's, they're not even your, your money. It's God's money. And God wants you, to, you know, to flow the blessing through you. Amen? And we stop it. You know, the, you know, the blessings of the, of the Lord stops. So we need to keep it flowing. You know, flowing. Amen? In Romans 13, 14, the Bible says, Let us walk properly as in the day. Not in rivalry, in drunkenness, or in lightness, in lust. Not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Amen? See, other thing. Sometimes we as a Christian, we think drinking is okay. I can be a, 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 a cashew drinker. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry if you didn't know that. I'm sorry to uh, disappoint you, but no, it's no. You know, God saved me from all that, from drinking, smoking, uh, drugs. God saved me from, because it's not good, I know. Most of you know. Children, youth, no, it's no. We need to understand that God doesn't want us to be doing that. God wants us to Bless others to preach the gospel. Take, take the gospel to others. Amen. God wants you to prosper. Amen. He don't want you to hold you. The enemy wants to destroy you right here, kill you right now. Amen. With drugs. We, he wants to kill you with drinking. You know, take, uh, go and drive a car, you know, under the influence of uh, alcohol and kill yourself and kill others. That's what the enemy wants. Amen. God doesn't want us to do that. Children, God doesn't want you to do that. You, amen? You know, sometimes we eager, we as a boys, we are eager to get our license, you know, coming out of high school. And then suddenly we get our license, we're all so happy, and what do we do next? We get in our cars, and we, you know, pick up all the, our friends, and before we know it, we're drinking and driving, we drinking with all of our friends, and what happens? We got into a car accident, and there goes our license. There goes my license. Amen? See, God wants you to prosper. If whatever you use in your, your things, you know, what God has blessed you is to bless others. To say, no, you know, I, can, I cannot take you like that in my car. This car belongs to God. Amen? If you're gonna you're gonna be doing that, no, I'm sorry. You are staying right there. Or well, I give you a right, but you know, no no drugs, no alcohol in my car. Amen? Right? How many of us I have got into trouble? I know I have. Amen. God has saved me from that. I have paid a highly price for that. And that this day is more expensive. It's more expensive. You know, you go into this into these uh, car accidents and under the influence and there goes your license for years. Amen. The license that costs you a lot to get. 
you know, that you're so, we're so happy about. Amen? So, you know, everything, all those stars, the enemy wants to throw those darts at you, you know, all day long, all day long. That's like what the enemy is trying to do is, you know, try to fall into temptation, you know, fall, for, you know, fail the test. But we, if we are, if we're walking, if we're walking like, a, you know, like in the day, we can see everything. Amen. If we pray, if we, if we read the word of God, we can see everything. Ah, but you know, the Bible said in Galatians 5.22, but the Holy Spirit produces these kind of fruits in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Amen. For if, if anyone, anyone thinks in Galatians uh, 6 3 to be something when he's nothing, he deceived himself. We need to have we need to make sure to check our thoughts. Amen. Are we producing the fruits that the what the Bible says that I'm supposed to produce? If not, we need to check ourselves. Lord, you know, I receive you into myself. I want to have those fruits. I want to I want to have the joy of, of the Lord. I want to I want to have the peace of the Lord. Amen. That surpasses all our understanding. Amen. I want to have I want to be kind to other people. Sometimes the enemy is going to is going to is going to um uh test you through somebody else when somebody tries to act smart to you. And sometimes and you think in yourself Lord, give me, give me kindness, give me love to, to love these people the way these people is treating me. That's the Holy Spirit, you know, you know, giving you those thoughts, you know. He's, you know, because that's how we're supposed to feel. Not to pay, not, not to pay uh, hate with hate, amen? To love one another, even though that person is not Christian. We need to show God. We need to show Jesus to, to them. We need to be a witness. See, no, no Christian should ever think that he or she, or she is totally independent and it doesn't need help from others. We all need help, help from others, especially from God. Amen? And no, no one should feel excused from the task or, of helping others. We all sh we should help, be helping others. Amen? Especially if we are Christian. Everything that we can do helps. Amen. The body of Christ, the church, functions only, only when the member works together. I know I believe in the power of one, but I mean, we work together as a team. Amen. If we work together, we are stronger. Yes. Amen. Do you know someone who needs help? We, we, we know a lot of people that need help, right? If there are Christian brother or sister who needs correction or encouragement, humbly and gently reach out to them. We need to reach out to them with love and kindness. Amen? And tell them that Jesus is there for them. And do whatever we can in our part with finances or, or whatever we can, you know. Amen. And the Lord says, For I know the task towards you, thoughts of peace, in Jeremiah 29, 11, thoughts, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. See, God is thinking that way, because I know the thoughts I have for you. You know, thoughts of uh, to give you a peace. And if we have the mind of Christ, what 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 should we be thinking about? Th thoughts of peace, right? To give all, to give others future, to give others hope. There's there's hope in the Lord, Amen. That's that's how we should be thinking. Have you shaken your thoughts right now? How will you feel and if somebody can read your thoughts, amen? Are your thoughts are clean? Are you, ha are you having the thoughts of Christ? Amen? Don't answer that question. Youth, how, how will you feel? What are you thinking? 
When you come to service, are you really here? I understand we are living in the new age, new technology, but when we come to church, we need to have respect. Amen. If we are in our phones, reading the Bible, going through what pastor is teaching, making notes, I think it's fine. But if you not he, if you're here and and um, stay seated, okay, this might hurt a little bit. But God wants to do a surgery and get out the bad part that we have in us, so we can he, we can be healed. Amen. Um, if we, we not we we come to to I know I have I'm guilty of that, not that we're in the phone, but you know, sometimes I have so many things in my mind, you know. Forgive me if I have offended somebody, Pastor Sharon, Pastor, but I have too many things in my you know. I'm not gonna let that get on the way to serve God to be here and usher, Amen. Because Everything is falling apart. I have, need to have faith. Go. You know, sometimes I, have, I you know, I've had cry preaching the word of God. You know, not because I get emotional, I get excited because everything is going down in my, in my, in, you know, in my family and in, in, in my, in, in my life. But you know, God rewards your faithfulness. Amen. I was talking to Brother Dixon. You are you're preaching to my life. You know why? Because you are faithful to this church, and that preaches to me. God rewards your faithfulness. <laughs> Isn't that God great? Isn't that God great? Because you know His mercy are new every day. You know I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. We are all our sinners, and His mercies are new every day. Isn't that great that God forgives me? Even though if I fail, God forgives me. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I thank God because this is, that's amazing, amen. It's amazing what God can do. He don't, he don't uh, uh, think nothing against you. He forgives you right there and then. You need to ask, just ask for forgiveness right there. Kneel yourself to God. <laughs> Isn't that um, a wonderful that God can do that? And we as a Christian, we, we don't do that. We as a people, as a human beings, we hate. Amen. We we take that the you know the the hate for days. We need to think about okay, let me think about it for a moment, for a couple of days, and maybe I'll forgive you. But God forgive you right there. We need to have the mind of Christ. Amen. We need to have his mind. We are Christians. We are called by his name. Amen. If we, if we, if we, if we knew ourselves, he will, he, the Bible said he will hear from heaven. Amen. He, he will heal our land. He will heal you. He will be there for you. Amen. If we knew ourselves, we, we, we ask for forgiveness. Especially this great nation, you know, United States. Amen. Like Pastor was saying, you know, they need to send missionaries from, from other parts to, to come and preach the gospel. We have the gospel. Amen. We have it. We need to just go what the Bible says. Jesus Christ. Amen. He died for us. You and me, for the youth, for the children. Youth. We need to take God seriously. Be on fire for God. Amen. He died for you and me. The Bible says, I know that that's I have for you. You know, the mind of Christ. To give you peace and a future. God wants to give you a, a future youth. You see, we, all, we are all encouraged by a, by a leader who steer up to move, to move ahead. God is ahead of you. Someone who believes we can, we can do the task he has given us, he has given, and who will be with you, with us all the way. God is the kind of leader. He knows the future, and his plans for us are good and full of hope. As long as God, who knows the future, provides our, 
a schedule, agenda, and it goes with us, and he fulfills his mission, we can have boundless hope. You know, our hope could be boundless. You know, everything, you know, that you desire, it, it could, could be done. Amen. According to his word. See, God doesn't spare us from, from pain, from hardship, but God will see us through. At the end, you'll know that. His hand will be there. Amen. So we need to have the mind of Christ and give him the glory. If our thoughts are not in line with his word, we need to ask God, God, forgive me. You know, I haven't been thinking about you. I haven't been thinking about your church. I haven't been thinking about my brother and my sister that needs me. I haven't been doing nothing for that, my church. And I haven't not done nothing for spreading the gospel. I need to have your mind. I need to have your mind, Christ. We are Christians, right? It's not because I am a Christian, because he gave me his name, you know, Christ. We need to have his mind. You know, I don't know what, what you're going through right now. You know, we're all going through something. But God can meet you at your lowest point. God is there, you know, God is there. We need to give him the praise, the glory, and the honor, and never stop. Don't give up. You're going the right way. Amen. You're going to the, in, uh, in the right path. We just need to keep moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Amen. You fail, get up, move forward. You fail again, get up, move forward. Give him, give him the glory. But you, don't, you might say, but you don't understand what I'm going through. I'm, 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 uh, I'm uh, going through this sickness. Keep believing God. Keep having faith. And God, someday, I don't know what my end is going to be. We don't know, but he knows. He knows our future. If he decides to take me with the sickness or the disease, to him is the glory. Amen. I know that's from Satan, those uh, the sickness and diseases. Amen. But he allows Satan to do that like he did with Job. I, I know it might be easy to say that right now. I don't know what I'm asking, right? I don't know, you know, but, but you don't know. You don't know what I'm going through, brother. But God knows. He knows. So we need to just keep having faith in him. Keep work, working in his kingdom. You know, spreading the gospel and enlarge his kingdom. He wants to use you. We need to, you know, purpose ourselves to think like, like he did. Amen. He didn't, he didn't talk about him being God. And he gave up himself for you and me. But you know, I can't, you might say, I can't do anything for the Lord. Yes, you can. You can. Amen. We need a lot of help with the youth. We need a lot of help in healing church. We need, a, you know, we need to talk with somebody, you know, talk along with somebody, with pastors. Ask pastor, what can I do, pastor? Just remove your mind from yourself. You know, don't think about yourself anymore. We die. When you, we receive Christ, we die. Amen? If we don't, if we don't think that way, we're always going to be concerned about our problems. We're always going to be, be concerned about my life. What am I going to do with this? I got these this so many bills to pay. God will take care of those bills. Yes, don't think about those things. The Bible says not to worry about anything. So be thankful about everything. Pray about everything. Amen? That's what we need to do. Amen? So I don't know what you're going through. If you want me, you allow me to pray for you, you can come to the front. Amen? I'm going to give you, you know, a few minutes. If not, it's okay. You know, God can touch you right there where you are. Amen? I'm just going to pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. You know, I try my best, Lord. You know I did. <sighs> I just want to work for you, Lord. Serve you, Lord. Serve my pastor, my church, Lord. And I speak, speaking, Father, praying for everybody tonight, Lord. Father, we pray for our youth. We pray for everyone here tonight, Lord. We ask a special blessings, Lord. 
Father, if they need healing in their body, Lord, we ask for healing, Lord. And we thank you for their healing, Lord, Father, because you are healing us, Father, from heaven right now. And forgive us, Father, uh, because regardless of how we are, you are there for us, Lord. Forgiving us, Father, and you, you meeting all of our needs, Lord. Father, we pray to you. You are the God, Father, who created us, Lord. Create us to be, Father, the persons, Father, you want us to be, Lord, Father. Heal our bodies, you know, that, that way you created us at the beginning, Lord, to be healthy. Because you want us to prosper, Lord, as our soul prosper, Lord. Father, uh, not to uh, help us not to uh, um, take like everything is, is belong to us, Lord. But, you know, recognize that everything comes from you and thank you, Lord, for your blessings and, <clears throat> and you're always there for us, Lord. Father, minister peace, joy, Father, to every, everyone that's going through, uh, I don't know, financial problems. I don't know, but, Father, but you know everything, Lord. Remove every worry, every stress, Father, distress, Father, from our minds. And, and help us not to worry about anything and, and to have faith in you, Lord. Father, we, we don't know how to ask how, how is, is, you know, we're supposed to ask. But I know the Holy Spirit, he can, he can translate, Father, because he knows our heart, Father. We ask you, Father, to put the right thoughts in our mind and to have your mind, Christ. In Jesus' name, we ask, Lord God, Holy Spirit, Father, we ask you, Father, that you minister to everyone tonight. To everybody listening through, through the internet, Father, there's no space in time, Father, there's no distance, Father. You can reach out to anybody out there, Lord, because you are God, you are powerful, Lord. Father, we ask you, Father, to, to bless our youth, Father, and we ask you for, you know, and to thank them, Lord. Encourage them, Father, and we thank you for all their help, Father, they, they give to us, Lord, in this church, Father. And help us to be a good example, Father, we as an adults, as a parents, as a grandparents, Lord, to lead our young people, Lord. To you, Father. You are the way, Father, the true and the life, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it, Lord. We know that your word won't come back, boy, Lord. It's going to do, Father, what it's supposed to do and produce fruit, Father, in our life. It doesn't matter, Father, how we think or what we do, Lord. You are God. And we give you the honor and the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We all say amen. We thank you, Jesus. Like I said, I don't know if you, you still need prayer. You can come to the front. If not, you know, we thank you for listening and I appreciate you guys. You are a great crowd, great young people. Amen. I speak blessings on your life. Wherever you go, you know, wherever you put your hand, your foot, you know, prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to believe and we're going to uh, just keep going and not get discouraged. Amen. For him is the glory. The, you know, the empire, everything is forever and ever. Amen? Amen. God bless you. And have a, gr a great week. Amen?